Not with that. We got to get him back on too. Um, I, I know that we we're the, we're supposed to move on to other things right now and talk about Jed Wills, uh, but I guess this can go hand in hand because Jed's our number fourteen in our thirty-two and thirty-two. But the backup, I, I don't know where we are at running back. Um, I I didn't see a whole lot last night that John gave Kelly me any, any no. clarity. Nope, I'm out on John Kelly. I'm out. Are you? I'm out. He got stuffed at the goal line. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't. Against he's... last week. He fumbled on the goal line this week. Yeah, it wasn't good. He had a couple of nice carries. But I think he had eight carries for 20 yards. It, it was it was very it was and to me. It yeah. was very pedestrian. He looked yeah. like a guy. So is the third running back not on this roster right now? I, I thought Felton hadn't played well either. No, I, thought, I don't I, either. Nobody hey, is it the me, guy they signed, Jordan Wilkins? I don't know. I mean, he didn't get enough work. I thought they'd get a I little bit more work yesterday. Might as well use him. You right? know what? I will say this though: when he came in, I was just watching him. He looks like a pro. Yeah, it, uh, he's, he's 28. Yeah, yeah, he's, he looks like okay. If he's our guy, I'm okay with him. Yeah, yeah. these other two. Kelly looked like a dude off Madden with no with no spat. You don't even give him no no special equipment. You'll give him a visor. <laughs> he don't get gloves. He, Cre- got the, he got the old school uh, gas no finger tape, tape on. <laughs> elbow pads. Who wear elbow pads? But nobody wear no elbow pads. I think no the more. Browns backup running back is playing for the Jets right now. You look at the Jets running back Carter. room, right? And you got a couple guys who's been in the NFL between one and three years that right. haven't had opportunities. A guy like Todd Johnson, uh, not Bryce Hall, but Brees Hall. He's yes. another one. So. Well, that, that, Michael Carter. They ain't trading Brees Hall. That's no, not Brees yeah, Hall. I'm, they I'm are very high on Brees Hall. Brees Hall may like, not Michael be Carter ready to go, though, about. It right away. No, he's not going to play till week six. That's what, so, that's what I signed Davin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, but no, the, is po- a bridge. the point I'm making that they're about five they're, running backs yeah, deep. Very yeah. deep. You can go over there and try to see if you can get you a they, tailback. They also have Zonovan Knight, which Z-O, it's Donovan with a Z. Right. Zonovan, great name. Who it had 100 different. yards in his one start last year. So, okay. another guy who could possibly play. All right. But I agree. I don't think the third running back is on the roster. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I just, Felton to me is, to me, Looks like he's going to make the team as a special teams player. Uh, looks like they wanted him to Didn't return kicks. Didn't he muff kicks. a punt, though, yesterday? I mean, he ended up getting it and, and, and returning it. For it a wasn't bit, pretty. He, I think he fumbled yeah, it but originally. They, but they, I don't think they want DPJ to be returning no, punts. No, I don't think they do either. And we haven't seen Grant, so that means he's definitely well, not. What is the word on him? Why haven't we seen him? Well, that, that's why I want to ask the who's getting left out of the receiver room. I have no idea if Grant's already gone or if they're like – there's a you're couple, in a bubble wrap till you're in the season. There's a couple. There's a couple. Couple dudes that's absent on milk boxes. Where Harrison Bryant don't play no more. I don't even no, know where he hurt. is. He isn't practice. He's yeah. Hurt. He's not helping himself you know, oh. by not being able to get on the field. Yeah. He's, he's so it looks like he's done. Grant looks like he's out of here. Um, Jordan Elliott. You know what we should do next Where are you week? at? We should we should try to establish the fifty three man roster and see how close we get to it. Yeah. That, that'd be before a good one. before all the cuts are Cuts-y done. Yet. We should try to – what is the – like, we know 45 of them probably uh, the, yeah, are there's, booked. There's, yeah. there's we'll probably that. anywhere from idea. five to seven, maybe as many as eight. I think I think uh, Diabate is going to make some – you know, initially he wasn't penned in as a guy that I thought was even going to make Ever. the team. I didn't even – well, I kept hearing it. They like him. They like him. But they like got him. good size and yeah. moves well. And moves damn well we're, and can tackle. We're yeah. going to get to the defense, but I know yeah. we got we to do 32. Let's 32. do Jed Wills. Yeah. Is he, uh, is he appropriately slotted at number 14? Before you guys get into that, I do have to give you all the variants on how we voted on this. So, you know, it was myself. Oh, yeah, you told us yesterday. Anthony and Earl, we voted. I had Jed Will 7th. Anthony had him 11th. Earl had him 28th. 21 spot difference was the biggest variance in wow. any single player on I want to hear list. from Earl. Why does so that, low? Does that Why mean, so low? Does that mean he's not good or you just don't think? This He's wasn't important. the best player. This was the I, no, I most important. The most it, it, important it goes player. Full circle to what me and you talked about yesterday, the expectations. Oh. I don't think he's that good. And so I don't have real expectations for him. Okay. That's I, I am of the mindset that somebody is going to take his spot sooner or later. Because, you know, Who, we're Dwan talking Jones? about all these different positions. We're talking about, you know, forget where somebody's drafted. You got to put the play, best players out there. We've talked that nauseum about how important this season is. I don't t- trust Jedrick Wills at all. I think he's a little lazy. I think he doesn't put forth, like, the effort. I think he looks lost out there on the football field sometimes. And I don't think he care as much as we care. And so for that, it's just like, you know, I'm, I've seen enough. Like, we talk wow. about the K-York thing. I've just seen enough. You've seen it. it. Okay. So, That's interesting. And, and his logic – 
makes sense. If he doesn't think that he's going to be there, then he doesn't no. view him as important. No, the logic still makes no sense. So, you know I love you, man. You are my boy. Me and Earl, we, have some serious, we had a serious conversation this morning off air about real life stuff, but in no world. Steve, give me a one shot, please. <laughs> he's, he's taking in, over Bulls. In he's no Bulls world, Jerry's taking over his persona. In no world, regardless of the caliber of player at left tackle, is the left tackle, the starting left tackle of a football team, the 28th most important player heading into the season. Now, wait a minute. What if, Ever! What if that player's going to be benched? And by week four, he's not even on the field. Okay. That's what Earl's saying is going to happen. Earl, are you saying he's, gonna, he's not going to be the start? Week 10, he he's flat not out said. I'm he's, telling you, man, by the, by the bye week, we we'll have a start, different start left tackle. And it Put wouldn't that on the list for me. worst takes of the year, Earl. No offense. L- l- listen, That's it wouldn't surprise me. 0% we, we chance all that the, Listen, Jay think Austin Watkins could be wide receiver three. I guarantee you Callahan is working with Duan Jones right now on his left tackle technique as well as his right but tackle But you, you can't just switch. And Tyvis, I said, it's not as no, easy to switch right ass, to listen, left I'm not in five weeks. That's but like you, going from an in, innings eater in the bullpen to a like, front of the rotation starter. I mean, that is a big. Tell us about the difference in technique uh, between right tackle and left tackle. And before you go, real, real quick, or I'm with you. I don't love Jed Wills either, but 28th, your left tackle. I just there's no world where a left. It's like when Bull was saying a special teams coach can't be more important than a starter, and I voted him over some starters. I just can't left tackle in my opinion. That's most cat. Important. Second most important position in football. That, that's Cap. Steve, can I get a one shot? <laughs> hey, Jay, listen to me, man. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Jay, listen to me. I love it. Don't, don't let him sit up here and gas you up. Me, we, we know what's up. This dude yeah. do not have it. See, I'm kind of in between you guys. No. I, I, it's like I said at the start of the show. Before you cut Cade York, that's just 30% of the fix. The bigger piece is who's taking his place. That's why Jed Wills has to play. And that's why I he has to know. be more important. I don't know. Like, I, when I watch Jed Wills... 80% of the time, I don't see anything that's outstanding or anything that's terrible. 10% of the time, I see him make plays and I say, oh, that's why he was drafted where he was drafted. There's another 10% of the time where I say, does he even know that the Browns are on offense right now? Yeah, he looks lost. He's like a There top. are times where that happens. So what I need to know before I can firmly come down in one camp or the other, because I agree with you, if there was a better option, it would definitely be I, I think we've all seen enough that they would go with it. But left tackles don't fall out of trees. Mm. Tell me the difference between right tackle technique and left tackle technique. Well, I just see, though. Can I get a shot? I, I just, I we're, just, we're just calling for shots. Let now. me get you another one shot. shot. Yeah. Put, put on camera three. This, this is Jed Wills getting dog walked. There you go. Get away from me. What does that look like? <laughs> get away from me. Getting dog walked. Move out the way. You take that visor off. And, and by the way, number four was in the game at that point. Yes, and he got but hit. Is that Chase Young? Yes, that it is. is. Okay. Move out the way. In defense of Jed Wills here, he's going against Hercules. Uh, Chase Young didn't get his fifth-year option picked up, and he's playing like he's angry. And Jed Wills Jed did. Jed Wills did, and he's playing like well, he's soft. Well, that's a fact. Look at that. Man. See, I be trying to tell people about Jed. It's be like, yo, he's out there, and there's three to four plays where you don't notice it because there's some things covered up just like that. If that was Baker Mayfield or some other quarterback that wasn't a mobile, guess what? That's a sack. I don't tr- – just the way we talk about York, I do not trust – on a third and five, Jed Wills lining up against a, pa- a, a top-notch edge rusher and giving a good kick slide and giving us time to look downfield. So how hard is it to turn to Juan Jones and do a left tackle? It, 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 it's, it's tough. You're talking blindside now. It, it's, Your it's, kick isn't to the right swing. It's it, a left swing. Yes, it's going to be you, done in five you, weeks. You, 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 have, you, you, have to have the, you have to have the different footwork. The kick slide is a little bit different. But the reason why I say he can do that is that man – used to be able to dribble a basketball off the dribble and put it down and lay the ball up and move around. If you can play basketball, you can move to the left-hand side because you're an athlete. You, you look at Hubbard, the, uh, mm. Hudson. I always call him H- Hubbard. You look at Hudson. Hudson plays left and right. The reason why he can do that is because he's a former D lineman. He got the footwork, right? So if you're working with that and you take extra snaps, it's not that difficult to do if you are an athlete, and, and Dewan Jones is. For me, I just think they, they, the reason they gave him that was they, they, they will say, look, at least we're hedging our bet. 
at least we're not going to have anybody off the street doing it. Right. Yeah. Right. We he's he's better than a lot of guys that options well, when other Hudson people has. has gone in there. We've seen a and huge he, yeah. drop off. And, and Hudson gives up sacks because he's not as big. Yeah. Right, because he don't have this size. He don't like if you looking at him. He's like he's not a three hundred and thirty pound mauler. How big was Walter Jones? Smaller. Was uh, he a lot smaller? Because I'll, I'll when I up. watch him, I, I the the guy that I think of is Walter Jones. I, you watch Jed Wilson think of Walter no, 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 Jones? No, 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 Dewan. Dewan. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I was no, going to ask never, for a no, drug no. test. I've never looked at Jed Wilson said, Dewan, "Now there's a Hall of Fame lineman." No, 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 Dewan Jones is bigger than anybody. Dewan Jones. Well, I know he's bigger than anybody. He's bigger than pace. He's he's, he's six big. five three twenty. Walter Jones six five three twenty five. Okay, so they're they're in they're on the same street. They're not only in the six, same six eight three seventy is different. It's different. Yeah, no, yeah. it is. It's different. But when I mean, that's a big human being still. Six five three twenty five. Well, yeah, one's it. big, one's giant. That's like me. Yeah, G's G's six four three twenty. Yeah, that's me. Damn. I thought you was like six two. I thought I didn't know you were six no. five. When G stands up straight, yeah. When he like fully straightens when his, his knees, neck is it? Well, my no, neck, he fully straightens his knees. Like I'm like yeah, this is uh this is this is documented. Now I'm not that big, but when I go look at Dewan Jones. You talk about six eight, like think about it. People always that's why I'll say, hey, I'll you know, I'll tell LeBron to his face. No, LeBron is <laughs> He will crush you like LeBron a LeBron be way up here. Like that's yeah. the difference between yeah. six five and six. I remember eight. the first time I stood next to LeBron and I'd watched it's him absurd. play for a couple of absurd. years at that point. The first time I actually stood next to him, I thought, Oh my god. Like basketball he, players. He damn near looks seven feet. feet. Giannis I saw Giannis in person, like courtside last year. Giannis yeah. is not a like if I'm a human, Giannis is not. And if Giannis is a human, I am an Aliens. Aliens. They're aliens. Like, yeah, like, it, they're different. It is. It really Earl, is I got funny. a question for you, Earl. Well, when you look at the tape of Dewan Jones, everybody, the first thing they say is, my God, that guy's huge. And, and he's standing next to huge men. Yeah. He, he, he's so strong. And his and his length, the length is his wingspan. It's like, I, don't, I, can't, I can't express how, how special of a trait that is to be able to kick slide and lock out on a man yeah. from here. Like he can not just a man, a superhuman. He Whoever can, he's blocking is a superhuman. He can touch Jay from here. <laughs> he like and then what do you do? Like this stonewall, you can't you're not running around him. You can't do that. If he gets a good consistent kick slide and he gets his hands on you first, the play's over. Yeah. It's mostly about getting your feet in the right position. That's it. Because yeah. if you're beat with your feet, your hands can't make up for it. Because the only way you can do it by that point is to grab them. Grab them. So if your feet are moving and your hips are square and all of that is equal. And when Baldy did the breakdown of him, when, but he does, I mean, he, he's a pretty strict guy with praise. Yes. He was jumping off the tape at Baldy. If you go back and watch the one-on-one matchups between Dewan Jones yesterday and Nolan, is it Nolan Smith of Philadelphia, yeah, the first-round yeah, pick yeah. out of Georgia? Jones won some. Smith definitely won some. I think he gave up three pressures last he night. Gave, he, it was it was some uh, pressure that I'm thinking of specifically where yeah. he kind of dipped. He dipped. He got under. Yeah, yeah. But that was a really fun battle because that's no one's missed kind of the futuristic edge rusher. He ran the four three in the forty. That's like he's crazy. Yeah. he's the one that caught Anthony Schwartz in the reverse. And that's stupid. Anthony Schwartz supposed to have track speed, so he's an athletic freak. And you have Dewan Jones and his stature versus like the super super size speed. That was a fun matchup. Go back and watch the one on ones. Earl, real quick. Do you think it's important for the Browns' success this season that Deshaun Watson remains upright? Hell yeah, I do. That he shouldn't be 28. And wait, are we getting a phone call? Steve, we getting a phone call? Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah we got something online. Yeah, who's on line one? It's got to be Bull. Uh, I, I don't recognize that we can go to whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's take it. Let, let's, let's see who, who our guest is. Hello, everybody. I'm Adam the Bull. I'm not on the show today, unfortunately. It's uh, my son's day at school where we meet the teachers and all that uh, hoo-ha. Is that a word? Hoo-ha? Did I make that up? It's a Mike Lucas special. I wanted to chime in, though, because Jedrick Wills, um, G. Bush's favorite player, secretly, you don't all know this, but even though G. Bush rips him on a daily basis on the show, he is secretly his favorite player. (laughs) They play Parcheesi once a week. I didn't know this. I just found out about this recently. But apparently they're big Parcheesi players. This is, I'm not making this up. I know it sounds like a goof, but this is 100% true. Now, (laughs) Jedrick Wills is uh, apparently number 14, and there was a large variance here. I was told that Mikey McNuggets had him seven, 
that Anthony had him 11 and that Earl had him 28th. So what I'm trying to figure out now is this list. I, I when when I I finally made my list and I'll bring it in next week. I did it today, and I actually had Jedrick Wills number nine because I had to qual uh, clear it up with Mike. I said the list is not the 32 best players because we have coaches on there. It's the 32 most important pieces on the team. So how could the left tackle not be one of the most important pieces? Me putting him ninth, I thought, was a stretch just because I don't think he's that good that I pushed him down to nine. And even then I was like, he's the left tackle. He's got to be more important than that. So I thought I was too low at ninth. For Earl, Earl, I love you, pal. You know that. But 28th? Earl believes that Bubba Ventrone, the special <laughs> teams coach, is more important to the Browns than their starting left tackle? Not to mention, you know, like it, with the Jack Conklin situation, right? We got I got Jack Conklin lower. He's a right tackle. If Jack Conklin gets hurt or whatever, I think we feel pretty good about DeWan Jones maybe playing right tackle. Who would be their left tackle? When we've seen James Hudson, he's been absolutely awful. Listen, I know Jedrick Wills is not great, but I think we go over the top on our criticism for him because Joe Thomas was so great, and that's the one area on the field that we were used to greatness, and now we don't have it. Jedrick Wills can be a competent left tackle. He has been at times, but it doesn't matter how good he is. Left tackle is one of, if not the most important position besides quarterback on a team. So there's no way you can have the starting left tackle that low unless you had a clear, possible good option to replace him, which clearly the Browns do not. Jack Conklin can't play left tackle. DeWan Jones is not playing left tackle. They haven't even worked him at left tackle. He's a right tackle. James Hudson, terrible when we've seen him there. Uh, Earl, I love you, buddy, but uh, man, you are lost in the soup. And, folks, if you want to get involved in the Parcheesi finals with uh, G. Bush and Jedrick Wills, uh, call Jay. I'll, I'll uh, tweet out his uh, home phone number later. Yeah, let's not do so, that. Uh, Jay is the agent for the two guys, and he will uh, set up those, those games. Guys, have a great rest of the day. Everybody listen to my podcast today. Kyle Brandt made some asinine comments on the NFL Network about covering Deshaun Watson. It's so hard to cover the Browns. It's so hard. Yeah, he was waxing poetic about Ben Roethlisberger at the end of his career. Was it so hard to cover the Steelers? Is it hard to cover the Bengals? Joe Mixon's done some shady stuff. Give me a break. Don't be a phony, Kyle Brandt. I expect better. I like you. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys all on Monday. Hasta mañana. <laughs> Steve, can I get a one shot? <laughs> this man... Just really sat up here and said that sometimes we we are too critical and overanalyze because Joe Thomas played left tackle, but yet because Miles Straw can't hit home runs, you act like he's not a professional. You act like he's not a stellar defensive player. You talk about over criticizing a player, boy. You are so lost in the sub sandwich right now. It don't make any <laughs> sense at all, man. I, I expect better out of you. B bad take, bull. And I like him, Bill. <laughs> Serious question, though. And, and, and I, maybe this is far-fetched Friday because we are all jumping out the gym with stuff. <clears throat> Shoot. Batonio is an all-pro guard. Yeah. Right? Batonio was also a damn good left tackle in college. Now, we've seen situations to where he's had to kick out and play left tackle right. due to injury or other situations. And he held his own every single time. Yeah. I know it's crazy. I know he's a veteran. But if you got some guys in the interior that can play left or right guard, that can step in and give you quality snaps, then I'm all for moving Joe Batonio outside and getting rid of Jedrick Wills. Wow. I do not trust Jed Wills at all. We talk about ad nauseum. Deshaun Watson, you got to do this this year. Deshaun Watson, it has to be this, that, and the third. If Deshaun Watson is on the ground every other play, then it won't matter at all. Yeah, I think that the rub here is that uh, I believe – you had him where? Seven? Seven. I believe the mistake that you and Bull made in ra rating him that high is that you're rating the position. Yeah. And that when Bull was making his case, yeah. he was like, the left tackle can't be number – 
he can if he's not going to, if, if in bull, if, if in, and this is your opinion, and I'm going to, I respect it. If you don't think he's going to be in the starting lineup, guess what? He's not in the top 25. Yeah. Well, in that case, then Earl should have put James Hudson 27. I don't care about that. I'm not <laughs> talking about James Hudson right now. I'm just talking about Jed Wills. If, if, and he clearly does think that this is going to happen. If Earl thinks that he's so bad he's going to lose his starting position, how can he put him in the top 22? I mean, that, that's fair. There just has to be a starting left tackle somewhere in the top list. Then. But, now, but uh, the point outside. Boyd that was good that I have to point out, it's what we started the show with. Okay? Cade York's not the guy. Who is? Before you pull that trigger, you have to know who is the guy. And you have to have him. That's why I always hate when teams fire coaches or managers. Who's and the then they said, we're going to open a search. Well, that's have, putting the cart before have, the horse. Have some be re- have some ready. You've got to have your next move in your pocket before you make that move. And, and, let's be, and I don't know who that guy's going to be to replace and, him. And let's be clear, you know, I can't say that, well, you can't try somebody out of that position because Jed Wills is a top 10 pick that they tried out. He was a right tackle at Alabama. It's true. So they moved, moved him, him. Yeah. started him week year one, and it has not been like, it's not like, you know, look at Tristan Wirfs. He came in, same draft class as him. And he came in out of Iowa, did his thing, and it's, it's, it's a wrap. I wish they would have opened camp by saying, we're going to try, we're going to look at, at Dewan Jones at left tackle. I wish they would have done that. I, I, so I, we could have seen some game reps to see how he handles it. Because, I mean, clearly, Jed Wills made the switch from right to left. And it can be done. We know other guys have done it. I want to see, I want to see, look, I, what I really want to see, I want to see Dewan Jones at all the positions set for center. You want to see him at guard, too. I want to see him. I want him to what be a... What would that look like? A massive, massive giant in the middle? Isn't too big? Like, you got to find... Your running back has to have a hole to run in. Yeah. I, I mean, I want to see it. Because what I want to be able to do is say, he's my swing guy. If, if I, somebody goes down in the middle, so who he's can my, play that? He's my 5A. Yeah, 5A. Look, I could put him at left, right. It'd be, and I would like to see them play him against the uh, against the Chiefs. At multiple positions. Put him at left tackle and see what he does. Right. Move him around a little bit because that guy is too big, too massive, too agile to be hanging out, not playing. He's goal already, line, he's a tight end. He's already he, on yeah. the tight end. He's already the tight end in my goal line. He's already the, and that, the, I think the massive I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I hope we see that. Yeah, yeah. I, he's already. All right, so a lot of discrepancy between uh, Jed Wills and his rank. Uh, as high as seven, as low as 29. 28. Um, 28, and he comes in at number 14 on our list. If you want to tell us in the chat where you think he is, uh, go ahead and, and have at it. Uh, I, I think, I, I haven't even weighed in on it, but I think it's 14's a little high for me. You think it's high? I think it's a little high. Do you Again, I'm not rating the position. I'm rating the player that plays the position. It, I, you guys know, I've made no secret. Left tackle is the second most important position on the football team. So I'm shocked that you're... Going so low, no, with Jed no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm marrying said was, in that the skill set of the player, and what I expect of that player. I'm with Jay on I, this. It's not about the position; it's, it's about who's playing. But if, the position. yeah, if, if the it was Browns, just about the position, then we we could just the, the exercise quarterback been, left tackle rate the most important that position on a football field. Well, but there they would be. I I'll give you why I had him so high, and then we can move on. And we got to talk about DJ. Why you were so high? Why, why you had why, 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 so why? He <laughs> may have been so high when he rated him so high. Yeah, I've never actually smoked. I haven't either. Never, never smoked. So I don't know what never that feels like. But, uh, yes, I think left tackle is the second most important position in football. So he is automatically, inherently, there is a position boost <sighs> in this. And G. Bush does not buy that. <sighs> Do you think defensive end? Yeah. A lot of people okay, say. Okay, so, so two or three. I've talked to GMs that say this. Quarterback and the guys that chase the quarterback are the one and two positions. See, I've also talked to the guy Dungey who said it's quarterback and corner. Yeah, I know. And I, well, because look at the defense that he ran. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's easy so that kind of makes sense. However, I've also talked to GMs that say, no, it's the quarterback and the left tackle. So it's two or three. Because without the great left tackle, you could be without the great quarterback. And, and the reason I have him so high is I think if Deshaun Watson, as Earl said, if he's running for his life, it doesn't matter what happens. You look at the Giants Patriots Super Bowl 2007. 16 0 Patriots, best offense we'd ever seen. Strahan, Human Yor, Justin Tuck were in his pocket every play. It doesn't, Moved him off his point. it doesn't matter how good your offensive weapons are, how good your quarterback is. If your quarterback doesn't have time, it doesn't matter. Go back two years ago. 
Buccaneers, Chiefs Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes, best player in the league. Buccaneers were in his face every time. However, if Deshaun Watson's not, if he does not have the time he needs to be successful, a lot of that pressure will be coming from the left side. That's why the list is most important players. Jed Willis, in my opinion, is way more important to their success. Despite the fact I don't think he's great, he right. has to play well for them to be good. But, but the thing of it that is, in, in your reasoning. scenario, you, when you talk about the Giants, you talked about a unit, okay? And what a great defensive line unit can do to a quarterback, particularly ones that like to throw from a point, from, you know, from the pocket. Yeah. The difference here is the Browns have a Hall of Fame player at that position, mm-hmm. and he hasn't made a difference for us yeah. Yeah. because the unit hasn't been great. And that, that, now that's going to change this year. Now, now here's, we'll find out. Here's the, here's why I devalue left tackle a little bit. Now, what I could, nowadays what I can do is if you got Joe Th- Th- Thomas on the left hand side, who cares? You'll I'll just run my right. pass rusher to the right yeah, side. That's right. And you're going to get worn out all game. And Joe Thomas is going to be like we. You can scheme around and, let, and you can scheme around a really good tackle. That's why you know when you talk about who's your best players. And the Browns' best players are, are a kicker, uh, the left tackle, and a special teams returner. Those can't be your best players because you see what happened. They 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 won no games in one right. game with the best guys in the league. The only reason that the defense like you can't scheme around a good left tackle. The only reason I place such a high priority on it is he's got the quarterback's blind, the blind side. side. That's it. Yeah. Even Tom Brady, who has mastered the art of ducking. When, a, when an approaching lineman was coming to take his head off, you can avoid a straight-on clean hit. You can't from the back because you don't know he's there. Yeah. So he has to be a ter- – he's got to be like a brick wall. The, and the better the left tackle, the quarterback's confidence starts to go up because he's not peeking this way. That's, he's yeah. not worried there about getting his Thank head you. snapped off his body. Yeah. So he can stand there and say, I just have to worry about pressure from the front and the middle. I don't have to worry about pressure from the back. So, I 